If you love wombats as much as I do, then you might be surprised about why they're disappearing. Mange is caused by an introduced parasite called Sarcoptes scabii. When it comes into contact with a wombat, it burrows underneath its skin and starts to lay eggs. The wombat's body reacts to this infestation and starts to form all of these horrible plaques, crusts, and scabs. Before long, the wombat almost loses all of its hair and it effectively becomes blind and deaf because the crust is covering its eyes and its ears. Wombats with mange live in almost constant pain. They itch all of the time and they're seen coming out during the day, which is very unusual because they're nocturnal. Eventually, the wounds become infected and fly-blown, and this is usually how a wombat with mange will die. Now let me be clear, mange is 100% fatal for wombats without human intervention. That's why it is so important for us to treat mange in our local wombat populations. Now, not only is this a welfare issue for wombats because of the incredible pain and suffering that it causes, but it's also a conservation issue. While bare-nosed wombats aren't considered threatened or endangered, mange is causing local population extinctions. That means that the bare-nosed wombat is entirely disappearing from certain areas because of threats like mange. It's an introduced parasite that's only recently come to Australia. It's not a natural part of the ecosystem. And that's why it's our job to give wombats a helping hand. Not many people know this, but Australia actually has the highest mammal extinction rate in the entire world. And I, for one, won't let my local wombats be added to that list. So how can we help wombats with mange? Well, the good news is it's never been easier. If you see a wombat that has mange, or that you suspect has mange, please report it to either your local wildlife care group, an organisation like WISE, or of course your local wombat mange treater group. They can help cure wombats with mange with licensed teams of volunteers. If you'd like to join, just reach out to your local group and I'm sure they'd love to have you along. Now, if there's one thing you take away from this video, it's that mange is curable and we can all play a part in making a bright future for our local wombats. Check out the resources I've linked for more information and chuck us a follow for more wombat content.